She just said her knee hurt. Hmm? She just said her knee hurt upstairs. You know, I don't be paying attention to her. Mm. I know you don't. She got attitude. Bedtime's 8.30, it's 9.30. Still crying. Yep. All right, so we're doing another question here. Have you ever been jealous if you feel your spouse is being looked at or talked to by the opposite sex? If so, how do you handle it? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't think either one of us is a jealous type. Oh. No, y'all look all y'all want to. <laughs> Don't bother me. No. I mean, I think I used to. Gosh, high school and college. I wasn't jealous, but I was always suspicious. And I ain't like women. High school. High school, it was bad. High I school. Like, bro, high out. school, it was bad because we went to two different high schools. And this dude was on the football team. It had nothing to do with anything like that. This dude was on the football team. Did nobody care? This dude was on the football team. So? And, <laughs> can I finish? And I just always felt like somebody was looking at my man. No. I mean, like the girls after a football game, the way they just stood around the um, locker room. And I, I, I didn't go to that high school, so I don't know. They might have been waiting on their men, folks. I don't know. Probably. All I knew was that I didn't go there. I didn't know nothing that was going on, so I was suspicious. And for him to act like he wasn't suspicious is a lie as well. Suspicious about what? I don't know. But you was about paranoid too. The, but high school was when his attitude was horrible. And Here we go again. I, I not changed. <laughs> I'm the exact same per No, my, I did have an attitude problem, but it was more because of her. People are gonna look regardless, no matter what age you are. It's my grandma who's walking down the street, grandpa gonna look. Now, I mean, it's just straight up. I have to get comfortable as a father seeing somebody look at my daughter. That's different. And I don't know how I'm gonna be there. Looking at her, fine. Look at her all you want to. She has a ring on her finger. She come home here. So, okay, she is. Anyways, I think that's, that is gonna be my issue. I think we joke about it now. Um, we joke about what? When people be hitting on us and stuff. Well, and we don't joke about it. Me. Don't nobody come up to me. Don't nobody the look at me. The girl in the Burger King line or one of your digits. Burger King? Yup. I ain't ate Burger King in so long. It was about six years ago, but that's not I'm the like, point. I'm like, here like, what? <laughs> I don't even eat Burger King. You know, McDonald's, no none of that stuff. I don't know what she talking about. And for me, don't nobody look at me or nothing like that. But I tell you what, and this is why I don't pump my gas. Because almost every time I'm somewhere pumping my gas, some old granddaddy, somebody's 60-year-old daddy, talk, I done had it happen two times. Once this, this man came to me and said, hey, let me give you a card. I'm a mechanic. I'm like, dude, <laughs> go somewhere with his, your old behind. He should have took his card to see if he get a discount. You know what? See, that's what I use her for my for discounts. <laughs> And then the second mind. time it happened, this man walked up to me. Oh, you! I just love your eyes. You got some pretty eyes. You married? Yes, sir. How long you been married? Eight years. Well, guess how long I've been married? Twenty-two. Then, sir, why is you walking up to me talking about my eyes? He said they, they're nice. She better learn. Use these sugar daddies. They in your Instagrams. They in your TikToks. Yo, they they everywhere. You ain't got to say nothing. Give them a an account number at PayPal. Get that money. We'll split it between the two of us. And you won't have to talk to them again. You pimping me out now? You know what? I'm tired of your presence. Dismiss. If it's going to bring some money, you ain't got to do I'm that. I'm so tired of you. <laughs> I'm so tired of you. I'm not dealing with your shenanigans. That was the question. Do you have an issue with it? I, I have an issue with it when I'm with him. And I don't. 
look all you want to. Anyway, on the next episode, um, I'm not sure what we'll be talking about, but it may be a question. It may not be a question. I may be tired of these questions. You tired of questions? Yeah, maybe we should just free ball it next time. No. We're going to talk about in-laws and family next next time. That's what we're talking about. In-laws and family. Remember, you marry your in-laws as well. So while you dating your boo, you better be figuring out if you can be dealing with his in with his parents and his family and all of them for the rest of your life. I'm telling you, because forever and to death do us part mean them too. Her daughter being all in the business. Me, she would never see me. My mama thinks she grown. So, uh, we'll see y'all in a few weeks. Toodles. She got style. Love